thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Hi there. I really don't feel like I journal enough for the amount of mo emotions that I go through on a daily basis, um, but I finally sat down to journal because I watched Everything Everywhere all at once the previous night, and it was just such a wild ride that I needed to put my thoughts down into words. This was such a meaningful movie to me, and I don't think I'll ever forget it. I'm going to give you a mental health update in the next few clips. I think journaling really helps me because I feel like my mind and heart are disconnected way too often, 
and writing my feelings helps me align my mind and heart. Usually when I write everything down, I'm able to forget about it after and let it all go. I've been wanting to vocalize how I've been feeling lately. Um, I think any sort of mental health recovery is a messy and confusing process and for the longest time, um, after my kind of deepest funk, I've been um, just kind of asking myself, am I feeling better? Is this better? I don't know. And it's only been in the last couple weeks when I finally know. I'm noticing that everything feels lighter and I'm moving through my days with much more ease. I just feel more resilient mentally and emotionally. And simple things like talking to strangers or following a recipe don't overwhelm me anymore. I guess I'm realizing that I'm not looking for happiness. I'm looking for stability. I'm looking for peace of mind, um, feeling at ease. And so I've just been feeling that more and more often and I'm feeling really relieved that I can do it. And I, I did it myself um, with the help of my support network and of course therapy. I'm one of those people who think that I am more interesting when I'm sad and I do feel like it's just a phase. I have a theory about this. The sadness in my body just grew and grew to a point where it was too uncomfortable to ignore and I had to confront it and address it. That's when I found my therapist and through therapy, I did unearth a lot of childhood stuff, but I also learned that sadness is just a part of me, a part of me that I've been ignoring for a long time. It's really easy for me to feel lost in my emotions, so having someone there to hold my hand and guide me through it was um, so helpful. I was able to sit with it, explore it, and investigate it at a much deeper level, as uncomfortable as it was. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. This month is about raising awareness about mental health, fighting stigma, and supporting those who are struggling with mental health. This year's theme is Together for Mental Health, sharing personal stories so that we can encourage each other to prioritize our own mental health needs. I'm so grateful to have gone through the last couple years of therapy so that I can learn to be friends with my sadness. So this is now my approach to any of my mental health struggles is to try to be friends with those emotions that I'm fighting or that I'm trying to run away from, no matter how gnarly and ugly they feel. Another important theme of Mental Health Awareness Month is advocating for access to mental health care, which has long been one of BetterHelp's goals. They offer customized online therapy, which includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and you can apply for financial aid during the sign-up process. They also accept HSA benefits. BetterHelp has over 20,000 therapists in their network, which is amazing, and it means that there's a big range of expertise to give you access to support that might not be available in your area. You just have to fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions, and you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at any time with no additional charge. I think this is important because it does take a while to find the therapist that's right for you and that you click with. This Mental Health Month, if you or someone you know is struggling, please share better help with them. You can use my link for 10% off your first month. Betterhelp.com slash bittermelonbindery.
it has been a while, so I think we're overdue for an update. Oh, um, I cut my finger pretty badly. I was filming my last video, which is the um, ASMR 4K sketchbook making video, and I was cutting book cloth, and my finger was a little too close to the edge, and my rotary cutter slipped, and it was the deepest cut I've ever had while bookbinding. So this was pretty scary and I just had um, an intense moment of fear of losing, like, losing the ability to use my hands. So I'm going to take care of my hands uh, much better moving on and I'm going to make sure that I'm cutting much slower because it's so easy to just get into the swing of things when you're um, when you're so uh, practiced in the movements. It, it's gonna take a while to heal so I'm on the hunt for some cute band-aids um, and you'll probably see me wear those in the next few videos until it's completely healed. I've also been reading uh, fiction. I finished, um, I believe, We Were Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vong, and that book was just so sad and beautiful. It was a bit too real for me, so I decided to go lighter in my next book, and I'm in the process of reading um, the Kiyoshi novels. So. Uh, the first book is called The Rise of Kiyoshi, and it's about, um, I believe, the, the avatar that is two generations before Aang, the last airbender. I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that I absolutely love the animation, Avatar The Last Airbender, and so reading the Kiyoshi novels... Uh, has been really fun because I can imagine the animation as I'm reading it. And the story and the writing is very in line with um, my experience watching the animation. So I'm very happy to be um, kind of filling my uh, Avatar The Last Airbender void through reading about Kiyoshi. I've ordered new paper, new Chiyogami papers for my next shop update, and I'm excited to open those um, on camera. Okay, this is the reveal. Ah, tigers. So I had an aqua version of this um, early this year, I believe, um, and that's all sold out. So now there's a navy version, which looks awesome because the tigers really stand out. So I have two of those sheets. Ooh, and then I have this... Um, Gorgeous wave paper. I've also used this um, pattern before, but in a darker blue. And then, this is new to me. It's a strawberry paper. Wow, the black is glittery. Gorgeous. Love it. So I, there's only three new designs and I'm going to be making um, a bullet journal design with these, design, with these um, three papers. I worked with a customer to prototype one last year and I think I'm going to um, start production of those next week um, once I have all my orders shipped out. They're basically 
Um, it's basically a bullet journal with mixed watercolor paper and writing paper so that people who like to um, kind of separate their journals by month or by sections, um, they are kind of, uh, the sections are designated by uh, watercolor paper. So you could um, use paint or other mixed media to decorate those sections. When I start making them, I will definitely show you what those look like.
Thank you.